With new waves of asylum seekers arriving weekly, the city is evicting migrants from shelters to make room for new families. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with more on this. Marsha. Well, Maurice and Christine, the evictions today are part of a new policy that the city crafted with the Legal Aid Society and homeless advocates that allow migrants to claim a shelter bed for only 30 or 60 days. People can stay longer if they can prove so-called extenuating circumstances. We spoke to one of the lucky ones. Adriana Grande was outside the Rowe Hotel with her three children. The youngest in the baby carriage is the reason she won't be kicked out of the shelter. The boy was born this month. Now, though she got an eviction notice, she was given a five-month extension because of her pregnancy. Still, she told CBS2 producer Catherine Falcone that she's afraid about what happens then. It worries me not knowing where I will go with my kids, especially because I have three small children. After months of court, hearings and negotiations with advocates, the city won the ability to set new rules for how long migrants can stay in shelters. Single adults and adult families without children can stay for 30 days. Young adults aged 18 to 23 can stay for 60 days. Extensions are granted for extenuating circumstances. If migrants have a signed apartment lease, have plans to leave the city within 30 days, they are between 18 and 20, are enrolled in high school, or have had a serious medical procedure within 30 days, like a pregnancy. Mother of four, Diana Cardenas, has to leave her hotel next month. She says one option is moving to California. But you know, the rent there is expensive. They do offer the flights, but once you get there, now what? The Legal Aid Society's Josh Goldfein says his attorneys will be carefully monitoring whether the evictions are handled properly. There is a great risk that if the um, staff at the reticketing center understand that their job is to potentially turn people away, that there are people who don't have anywhere else to go and they will not have their time extended. Officials also worry the program will mean an increase in homelessness. Diana Cardenas worries about it, too. I have my four children, she said. I can't go to a park to sleep. Now, city officials say that just over 9,000 people have received eviction notices. 30 expired today. But the key number to look at is this. Of the 192 people who have been evaluated for a longer stay, 118 were approved for an extension. Legal Aid Attorney Josh Goldfein says if the city violates the agreement, they will go back to court. Christine Reese.